Kenneth Fury to Arsenal is official, ladies and gentlemen. It is not officially done in the sense that Arsenal have announced it, but David Onsen just announced it. That means it's a done deal. The deal is agreed between Bologna and Arsenal, and the deal is agreed between Arsenal and Kenneth Fury. Now, let me show you guys what I'm talking about in a second, but before we go any further, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get the show started. Yes, yes, people, what's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Now, do me a favor. Check this out. You got all agree, uh, all agreements now in place for Ricardo Calafiori to join Arsenal from Bologna. The 22-year-old defender is still needs to get a medical done, but is signing the deal, essentially done. And if everything goes as planned, aim, uh, aim is for the Italian international to link up with Arsenal on the U.S. Tour. So yes, Calafuri will be signing for Arsenal in California. Very fitting. Nice play on words right there. So Cali will be in Cali to meet with the Arsenal. Love to hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, this deal is done and dusted. Now for Richie Romano further explaining the situation, saying that Arsenal and Bologna's agents were working on the documents and approved it today. Schedule is meant for the medical and Calafuri will, of course, uh, be in doubt since uh, Saturday, uh, uh, was it no doubt since Saturday, since the agreement was officially made, formal steps following, uh, here we go. So there you go. And <laughs> what the hell is this? Everyone giving the Calafuri haircut to all the boys. Funny, funny. But yeah, Arsenal's playing tonight also at 3.30 a.m. Versus, uh, versus Bournemouth, so it's going to be interesting. But yeah, the Calafiri deal is gotten closer and closer, ladies and gentlemen. Now it is officially done, so you don't need to worry. That is done, as per David Onstein, and he will be joining Arsenal in the U.S. tour. It is very, very exciting news to see Arsenal have gotten the deal for Calafiri over the line. The deal is now done. We no longer have to stress over this potential signing that we were being linked to for a while now. The deal is officially over. And you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited. We finally have that left back situation yeah. sorted. No more Zinchenko, who's not as good defensively. No more Tomyasu, who's not as good offensively and can always get injured at any given moment. And no more Kavior, who is going to be, let's be honest, he's really good, but he's not the best left back. He's, he's probably better off as a I would say more of a uh, more of a just more of just a defender. The, but when he's when he's when he when he's asked to defend high up the pitch, or with 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 wingers that have really good one on one dual skills, like we've seen with Leroy Sané, it's not the best idea. You do leave yourself a little short in that situation. But as of right now, Calafiri joining this team, guys, I'm excited. And you want to know what excites me the most about this whole situation? Calafiri will undergo his medical in the United States with Arsenal and will then be joining the Arsenal team for the U.S. tour. We could see him as early as the game versus Manchester United in, in, in the U.S. tour. Yes. What number do you guys think Calafiri will wear? If I'm not mistaken, I, I honestly don't know what number he's going to wear. Let's see what number he ends up wearing. If I were to guess right now, just looking at the Arsenal squad, what numbers are available? Let me see what numbers are available with the Arsenal team. So William Saliba is number two. Kieran Tierney is number three. No, uh, number five is Partey. Ooh, 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 I'm thinking. Should he take Kieran Tierney's number three? If Kieran Tierney is going to be injured for the whole season, he could take Kieran Tierney's number three. Also, if if that's not right, what is his number right now? At Bologna. Let me see. Cal Ricardo Calafiri. What number does he wear? He wears 32. I'm pretty sure we don't have a 32 in the team. We have a 35. So maybe he wears 32. What does he wear for Italy? He wears number five for Italy. So number five is Thomas Partey. He can't take that. There's no 32. So he could take 32. 
maybe he takes 32. Let's let's wait and see. But that's a conversation for another day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me just see if there's anything else that needs to be discussed at this moment in time. Everything is just all around. Uh, Ricardo Calafuri and Arsenal have gotten their man. Of course, we were looking at uh, Lissandro Martinez originally as that as that player. And this is a taller, uh, bigger, and just younger version of, of Lissandro uh, Martinez. And let's see how he does in that situation going forward. Now, it is explained that Ricardo Calafuri is a modern defender who can play not only as a center back, but can innovate and play as a left back. And he's really good offensively as well as he is defensively. And our defense going forward for the next couple of years Honestly, we've strengthened that defense massively with this with this right here. If you look at that, that is a very, very strong defense. And I do think for the foreseeable future, this will be Arsenal's defense, in my opinion. I don't doubt for one second that this will be Arsenal's defense for the foreseeable future. This is a really, really good defense. And yeah. Now, just to talk about other things quickly before we move on, because, of course, we know that the Ricardo Calafuri deal is done. I... Uh, we just need to talk about some other news. So Man City uh, elite development squad uh, analyst uh, Derek Rogerson is leaving uh, uh, the club to join Arsenal's first team. Rogerson is highly thought, uh, thought of inside City, and this is starting to work the few months upcoming uh, the upcoming season. So he will be joining Arsenal. You also have Zinchenko speaking about Timber. Uh, Calafuri, of course, will be undergoing his medical at, uh, at in Los Angeles. That was an exclusive from AFTV. Um, what is this? A bunch of academy kids. Big up to the academy boys. That These are all the academy uh, scholarship boys for this year. You also have Arsenal have filled their maximum academy players uh, to use on loan to, cha to change. What? Arsenal in the past have failed to maximize the value of the academy players, but they plan to make a better use of the loan market to change that. Okay, that's good. So we're going to probably loan more players out. And these are some of the players that we could potentially embark on getting them more development and more game time elsewhere if they can't get it at Arsenal. Um, Zinchenko is back in training. Ricardo Calafuri, we already spoke about that. You can see that the players are back in training and everything. And Zinchenko and Odegaard doing some keepy-ups. Keep um, Zinchenko also said this during during. Say City, of course they are probably at the moment the best team in the world. I don't think we need to try to copy someone like let's say City. Of course they are probably at the moment the best team in the world, um, because if you look at the stats and titles they have won for the last couple of years, uh, it's amazing. So. Uh, of course, you need to always look at the best and try to be to to be to be not like them. You need to try to be on top of them. So, um, Mikel as well with his stuff, uh, he's doing. I, I think I think he's spot on. It's not about copying Man City. It's about trying to be better than Man City. Now, how do we do that? We need to find our 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 lane and 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 stick to it and try to get try to get the best out of that uh, situation. In my opinion, defensively, we are better than City. We should try to lean on our defense next season. And of course, we still score a ridiculous amount of goals. But if you keep your opponent from scoring goals, you're more, more or less likely to win more games. So let's try to keep those goals down and let's try to make this one of the best defensive teams in Europe. And that might be our lane uh, as, as we try to figure out what we're going to do for the foreseeable future. Now, I needed to talk about Reese Nelson. Leicester have started negotiations with Ar uh, with Arsenal over Reese Nelson with a loan with an obligation to buy the player. We're gonna have to wait and see if this escalates or anything comes from it. But personally, if there's an obligation to buy, I'm okay with it. I understand the market is difficult, and especially with them being a championship side, they just got promoted back up. They might not have the money to buy him right now, but with a loan with an obligation to buy, you at least have a promise of a sale in the foreseeable future. Now, this right here is very interesting. Reports coming out that Victor Ozzyman does not want to uh, to go to Saudi Arabia, while other offers for the player have been, uh, have been that Napoli will need to lower their demands. It is worth uh, paying attention to the Premier League. It is a possibility that Arsenal could present an offer sooner or later. 
Now, if we do go back in for Victor Osimhen, I would expect Eddie Nketiah and Reese Nelson and potentially even Gabriel Jesus to be sold before all that happens. But at this moment in time, just keep an eye out because we could go back in for Victor Osimhen. And we have also spoken about the potential of going back in for other players. Now, um, what do you have here? You have Chiesa did not want to join Juventus for their preseason training. It seems one step away from leaving. However, apart from an inquiry from Arsenal, there's not been any concrete offers for the player. Interesting. Arsenal have submitted an offer, uh, have submitted an inquiry over Chiesa's availability. Now, that is going to be interesting to see where that goes. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing else today. That is all the news that you needed to know. That's the latest Arsenal news today. Do me a favor, please do hit that like button on the way out. Hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys think about Cali Fury uh, that's going to be signing in Cali. Uh, we play Bournemouth tonight at 3 a.m., so check that out. Of course, we're still very slow in the transfer window, but it looks like some stuff could be happening, outgoings, incomings, and potential loans uh, for players that could be departing. And do you see a possibility where we could get Victor Osimhen? I don't know about that one. But, yeah, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love for the love, as always. And you guys already know what it is. Eagle Talks Football, we out, people. <laughs>